So I've got this new USB-C power supply and um, obviously it's in the style of the Apple Mac type power supply so it's got like a pull out thing here so you can you can put a cable in here or you can plug this adapter in you can use it as a wall wart and it's got a USB-C socket on there which I like because it uh, you know some of these type of power supplies have like a captive cable with a grommet and invariably what happens is the cable gets bent over and the wires start to fray and and then eventually it fails and then you can't you can't really fix it because these things are sort of ultrasonically sealed or were they glued together or something I'm not really quite sure but the result is that they're really very difficult to open in fact I opened one of these up a few years back uh, to try and fix a frayed cable for somebody and I just ended up with a horrible mess and um, and it couldn't really go back together again so yeah so it's so it's nice to have a separate cable so that so this one comes with a USB C to C cable and uh, it's meant to be 96 watts nearly 100 watts that should be 20 volts at nearly 5 amps shouldn't it that this this can provide I, not sure but we'll have a look at what it can produce so I thought I might uh, plug this into my power supply that I built back in a couple of videos ago so um, I'll link this up above here if you haven't seen those videos but uh, so I've got this power module here this step down module and this little USB card out the back that uh, interfaces with USB-C which is quite nice so I thought I'd plug it in and um, see what happens basically I'll share the experience with you so we'll plug the cable in So the moment of truth, power on. Okay, that's nice, it's reading 20 volts. So it's the little board in the back, if you remember, is able to negotiate with the power supply and it can, it can negotiate up from five volts up to the USB-C maximum, which is 20 volts. So what we could do now Got some, got some wires here. We can put a load on this. See what happens. Perhaps I can angle this up somehow so you can, so you can see the see the display. Got a box of resistors here. Uh, so this is quite a nice one a big big power resistor so 100 watts one ohm so we'll connect that in and see what happens uh, right. so resistor in place and we'll just click the button to switch this on the green lights come on and that's saying 12 watts so that's that's 3 amps so we've got 3 amps going through this resistor so that's yeah that doesn't seem right does it because if that's 3 amps at 20 volts should be 60 watts, shouldn't it? It's not getting particularly hot. Yeah, but the amps do seem to... It does seem to say 3. Let me see. 
might be able to put the multimeter in here. I do have a, a 10 amp range on my multimeter here. Oh, it's getting warm now. Whoa, that's really hot. Uh, yeah, so the multimeter says 2.7 amps. That's almost too hot to touch now. All right, so that's pretty neat. Um, so certainly this power supply, the uh, USB power supply is providing enough current to be useful with my little portable USB step down power supply here. So that's good. So the, the other experiment we could do is to actually connect it into my phone. Um, so let's see what happens, shall we? All right, so that says fast charging. So it's obviously the phone has negotiated with the charger and has asked for more than the normal five volts. So what we can do, I've got one of these little, uh, they're sometimes called charge doctors. So this is a USB-C style one. And what this does is it measures the voltage and current. So you can put that in line and make measurements. So we'll plug that in. If we click this button, the display, yeah, I can flip the display over. So that's saying nine volts. So it's, it's negotiated up from five volts to nine volts for the fast charge. And that's providing 1.4 amps. So that's, what is that? Four nines of 36. So it's, it's about, uh, 10, 10 watts plus 4 isn't it? So about 14, 14 watts. So that's doing a fast charge on my phone. So that's good. Uh, so I'm glad it didn't explode or anything. But um, yeah, so that was just a little so that was just a little interlude really uh hope to make some longer videos soon um didn't make any recently been quite busy with work um and the pandemic and so on but thank you very much as always for watching